Hi guys, Dave with AirSpool here, and now we're working to take over the whole house for solar-powered hybrid air conditioning and heating. So this is the world's first ever multi-split unit. And what's a multi-split unit? Multi-split unit has multiple heads, two or more indoor units, and all tied into one outdoor unit. And so we'll talk about the advantages and disadvantages of this. Well, a lot of people don't like the unsightly look of having, oh, I have an outdoor unit by the side of my house. I have one behind my house, two behind my house. Here you can do two or three units on this. This is a 24,000 BTU unit. So right now we have two 12,000 BTU heads tied to this. Our normal configuration is going to be 112 and 118. So the 18 will be the primary. So that might be for your kitchen living room area and the 12 could be in your bedroom. We also are coming out with a 36 thousand BTU units that will be three or four heads on that and so what's the idea what's the whole goal of this well right now with normal air conditioning central air conditioning you have what's called duct loss you, the ducts going through your house maybe one has too much pressure in one area not enough pressure in the other so you don't have good air distribution right you also can't control different zones like this one if I'm not in the lit if I'm not in the bedroom I can turn this one off and that the compressor on the outdoor unit slows down, that takes less power. Huge advantage, duct loss also, a lot of people, people don't go up in their attics and examine their ducts, but supposedly there's like 30 to 40% of efficiency is lost because of duct work. These are ductless, we'll show you here in a second what that's all about, but because there's no duct work, there's no loss, better control, much more energy efficient. These are 21 sear, okay, so your normal right now, Outdoor unit, indoor unit for a uh, split system for your house is normally be 14 sear. So even when this is running on grid, it's about 60% more efficient than your probably your normal unit. Some people might get a super high efficient unit, but for that you pay, right? But your standard unit right now these days, 14 sear. If you got an older unit, five or 10 years older, you're probably at. 12 sear, something like that. The coil gets older, gets derated, 10 sear. So this on grid, much more efficient, but looky here, we're actually running these on solar right now. So you see that green? And so both of these are running on solar. So we have one appropriately named left and one appropriately named right. So we can control these with the app from anywhere in the world. And this is what the unit's running on right now. It's 1,297 watts of solar. So both, this shows the combination actually for what the input of how much power the whole unit is using. So if I go to the right, it's gonna show the same thing, 1,299. But what I can do is I can control these separately. So you see now I turn this one to 80 degrees. Oh, it's starting to get a little bit colder in here. I want this at 80 degrees. But meanwhile, this one stays at 63 degrees. So from anywhere in the world, I can control these and very effective. There's also the remote here um, that obviously one remote will control both with Bluetooth. And so the, the idea behind this is now you can run your whole house without having to do net metering. Up to this point, most whole house solar systems have been what's called net metering, where you, where you sell your extra power back to the grid during the daytime, and then you get a credit at nighttime. Sounds great in theory. The problem is that the utilities no longer want your power. Why? Because they have solar fields of their own. They're paying 3.1 cents a watt from their pur power purchase agreement somewhere out in a sunny area. And uh, there's... <laughs> They're chart turning around in California, for instance, they're charging you 30 to 80 cents a watt, a kilowatt hour. They're, yeah, they're paying 3.1 cents a kilowatt hour and they're charging you in California 30 cents a kilowatt hour, 80 cents from four to six, four to 8 p.m., whatever. Outrageous prices. And now if you try and do net metering there, it's pretty much impossible. You push up three kilowatt hours there, you get a credit for one back. Okay, and that's, going, that's the trend nationally now. So this is an alternative for whole house because in Nevada, for instance, where we are, the big, biggest expense is air conditioning. And some people, the biggest expense may be heating. These also do heating. Okay, obviously in the wintertime, your days are shorter, but maybe there's three or four days, three or four good hours of, of sun during the daytime. 
But here in the summer, there's probably nine to 10 good hours of solar to run these units for free, okay? And so it's a way basically, you're, you're taking advantage, you're exploiting the utility, you're using the utility when you want them for the extra power to fill in from this. They're not using you as much anymore, right? You're, you're the one more in control and a lot of people like that feeling, wonderful feeling. Okay, so let's take a look at the back here, how this outdoor unit works. And so this is, we, we have what's called um, the, the quick and easy system. And we have a range of videos already on that. You can check YouTube for quick and easy air school. So I'm not gonna go in too much detail, but again, this is a way that someone who knows pretty much nothing about air conditioning can set up this system in their house. Everything is twist to connect. So you don't probably don't need to hire a contractor. You can, but if their job's gonna be a lot easier if you do hire a contractor, why? Because these refrigerant lines here, instead of having to have a vacuum pump and gauges, you just hand twist these by, put, put a pair of gloves on, hand twist these in two spots. The indoor unit is now connected to this outdoor unit, right? What about the communication control between the indoor and outdoor unit? That's twist to connect too. So you see these two units? You, we, we do all that work for you, so we pre-wire on the indoor unit and on the outdoor unit. So all you have to do is twist the connect. It takes literally 15 seconds to do that electric work because you're twisting it. We do all the hard part internally here. And then similarly for the solar, we give you these, these what we call whips. They're about five foot long that go from the outdoor unit to the isolator. We provide you with this isolator. We provide you with 33, 32 foot, eight inches, 10 meters of solar wire to go up to your solar array. We don't provide the solar array as of now, but we'll put you in touch with someone who can help. Why don't we? Because the panels as of now are big and heavy in glass and can't ship via UPS like the rest of the system. Okay, but by you sourcing these panels by yourself instead of going through a big national company, I mean, you'll be paying pennies on the dollar to get the panels. And it's much, much more effective to do that than, than contracting and having to Get, have your net meter approved by your local utility and uh, submit plans, yada, yada, yada. This is a way that you can very quickly get set up and running. And finally, in terms of the electrical, we this is a 220, 240 volt unit. And so what we do is we provide you with either a power cord and, and bare wires to plug into your breaker box, or you tell us if you already have 220, 240 volt, plug set up or receptacle set up, we'll match that with a plug and you'll be up and running in, in no time. Okay, so you see two systems here, two line sets. We provide both these. In this case, you can imagine if, um, if there were a wall here, T-boning wall, perpendicular, this like, say, say this is your bedroom and this is your dining room slash kitchen slash whatever, bigger room. So maybe you put the 18K on this. By the way, you put the 18K on, on uh, Terminal A on the outdoor unit and the smaller units on B and C. But in this way, you don't need much line set, right? We only have, we provide you on the bigger unit, we provide you with 15 foot of flexible line set. And what is flexible line set? Well, the bigger line set requires one quarter inch and one half inch line set, and that can be very brittle. So we're, we give you a flexible line set. It's like this. Okay, you see how it's very bendable? Whereas the copper, all right, this you need to be a little bit more careful with, but the, this is quarter inch and three eighths inch. And this is, it's, it's insulated, but it's quarter inch and half inch. So this, you can bend it all around, it won't break. So that's why kind of for the two ton units and for the and for the this multi split. Well this multi split is very fresh, but for the two ton units we hesitated to releasing them because we know that the half inch line set can be a problem. We don't like people to have problems. And so we now have shipped the two ton units and these two ton multi split units for the bigger zone with the flexible line set. Okay? And so yeah, you can in this case you have a wall separating the the kitchen, dining room, and your bedroom. But if you have a third zone, 
then you're gonna need more line set. And we also do that here. We'll customize your line set to be whatever length you need. Yes, there's an extra charge for that. And yes, that extra charge is gonna be a lot less than if you have to hire a contractor and run that line set from this outdoor unit to your other zone. So we'll work with you on it. We wanna see you successful. Your success is our success. And check this out, new concept, big savings off of solar, big savings on went on grid. And we think that you're gonna be happy with this. And thanks for your time. Oh, by the way, subscribe to the Air Spool channel. If you got anything out of this, maybe get a thumbs up. If you have questions, put them in the question area and let's get your home set up on solar, heating and cooling. Thanks for your time.